Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about not the Joao brothers, but the Mark brothers, two youngsters who do represent Barcelona Athletic. It is time to talk about the future of Mark Bernal and Mark Casado, two players who want to go into the first team and two players who will help Barcelona's CDM position. So if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. I'm happy that you guys are here. If you guys are Barcelona fans, this is going to be the channel for you. This is where we talk about everything regarding FC Barcelona from the Barcelona Academy academy to the first team and also when these players go out there to play international football we do speak about their performances with their international teams and so when Spain does play or when France does play or Brazil or Germany we are going to be talking about those players so players like Gundogan, Rafinha, Pedri and more will be followed also if you do want to join our discord group chat there is going to be a link down below that is going to be provided in the description box and also on the pinned comment all you have to do is accept the invite and you'll be in there speaking to many other Barcelona fans. And if you guys have any questions about Barcelona or football in general, once again, you can just join our Discord group chat. So enjoy the video. And it says here, according to 21 Marty, that there is an agreement that has been reached to renew the contract of youngster Marc Bernal until 2026 with an extra two to three more years. The player only contemplated continuing at Barcelona and Barcelona consider him as a fundamental piece. Marc Bernal is expected to do the preseason with the first team. He aims to be the pivot for the future despite the fact that he is proving to be a versatile player and adapts to more advanced positions. And we'll speak about exactly where Marc Bernal likes to play at in a few minutes. But just to give you guys some context on why this is a huge deal, there were other teams in the Premier League, in Serie A, and also in the Bundesliga that wanted Marc Bernal because of his talents and what he has been showing with Barcelona Athletic. Fabrizio Romano stated this information two months ago. But Barcelona and Marc Bernal Bernal saw a different path and that different path is to work together for the next four to five years at the very least. So secretly, right, even though many have not been talking about it, Barcelona are securing the future. We have secured the future of Marc Bernal and renewed him until 2026 with an optional three years. We also renewed Hector Fort until 2027. We have renewed Lamine Yamal until 2026 with a automatic extension until 2029. We have renewed Fermin Lopez until 2028. We have also renewed Gobarsi until until 2026 with an optional three to four years. Casado, we have renewed him until 2027. Gavi has been renewed until 2029. And now we're also working on Guil Fernandez, another youngster that Barcelona do trust. So the future of this club is in safe hands at all thanks to Juan Laporta. So if you guys do not know who Marc Bernal is, he is a 17 year old left footed defensive midfielder. He went from Barcelona under 16 to Barcelona Athletic on July 1st, 2023. So literally one year year ago and since he joined Barcelona Athletic within a span of 34 games as a CDM he scored two goals and provided six assists and that is why many have been praising the player because of his breakthrough season he has had with Barcelona Athletic now through the season he has also played as a center back as a central midfielder sometimes also as a central attacking midfielder so for example you can see in this picture here when he does play as a defensive midfielder he usually does get support by four players at the back with Mikael Faye also right behind him so he plays very deep and many of the players do trust him to control the next play. But then in the exact same game, you also see Marc Bernal in the number eight role, distributing a great pass to one of the forwards that the opposing defensive line did not even expect. So he's extremely versatile. This goes back to what we did say earlier that the reason why Hansi Flick and the rest of the Barcelona coaching staff do like Bernal is because of his versatility. In one game, you do see him as a six and then within a few minutes, you see him as a number eight, making great key passes. Here's also going to be another showing on Marc Bernal making a pass to Marc Gui, leading to a 2-1 lead against Ibiza. And you can see him as a number eight with many other players behind him making a pass straight to Gui. And once again, the defensive line of the opposition did not even expect for that pass to even come. It was super well-timed. So even though he is being trusted as a CDM, in my opinion, I do like to see him as a number eight because he is so much more creative. He has so much more to give in the final third. And to be honest, he is not the most physical player but also very creative, which really does make you wonder why he is being placed as a six than a number eight. But there is so much more room to grow for him because he is simply just so young. Under the guidance of Hansi Flick, you better bet that Marc Bernal will be forced to learn how to become much more physical with and without the ball. And that is what's going to lead me towards the next player, which is Marc Casado. Because if Hansi Flick does want to look for a physical CDM within La Mesilla, Marc Casado is your man. He is the one that is the most trusted. Even John Laporta said about two weeks ago that 
that Marc Casado will be part of the first team next season. And he spoke very highly of the player. Joan Laporta does not say these things just randomly. The reason why he says these things is because Hansi Flick also spoke to him. And Hansi Flick does have set ideas on what he does want to do with La Mesia. And Marc Casado is a very trusted player at the moment. We also have other reports coming from sports that have claimed here are going to be the reasons why Joan Laporta and Hansi Flick like Marc Casado. Point number one, his leadership qualities in the dressing room. Point number two, his strength, personality, and combativeness. Point number three, his versatility, and he can play on the right to back position and as a defensive midfielder. And point number four, his affiliation and love for FC Barcelona. So his importance is growing. And he even says here that Hansi Flick's arrival could become a major turning point in Marc Casado's career. Flick has given the least priority to the free signing of Guido Rodriguez and the renewal of Sergio Roberto. Ori Romeo is also on his way out. So we're going to be seeing three total midfielders outcasted by Hansi Flick. And these were three midfielders that were in the plans of Xavi Hernandez, except for Ori Romeo. That player was going to leave no matter what. And it has also been said that Casado, on the other hand, is continuing to impress everyone, including the newly arriving German coach. And so if you guys want to know the positional difference between Casado and Marc Bernal, as you can see here in this picture, Casado plays very deep. He is the player that is relied on the most when they have the ball in the middle of the pitch. And as you can see, he's not really surrounded by a lot of players. The only real options that he does have is the two center backs behind him. Compared to what we saw with Marc Bernal, he is completely surrounded by many players. They give him a lot of options, a lot of support. But with Casado, it just seems like the coach is saying, it's okay if Casado does not get a lot of support, he'll figure a way out to bring the ball forward. And because of the reliability of Casado on the ball, it allows for other players to go out on top. Barcelona Athletic cannot really do that with Bernal. And I believe the reason why is because Casado can cover much more ground. So it does seem like since the departure of Sergio Busquets, Barcelona have been waiting for an emergence of any player to go into the first team from La Mesia. And I believe that Barcelona are finally starting to get it. We just had to wait a season and a half. And I don't necessarily believe that Casado or Bernal are going to be repeating what Sergio Busquets was. I just think that Barcelona finally do have answers and have building blocks to get a reliable CDM from La Mesia. Because in the past season, Barcelona had no answers to the absence of Sergio Busquets. We had to go from Oreo Romeo to Frankie de Jong as a lone pivot. And then we're like, okay, let's just have a double pivot with Christensen and Frankie because we could not find our lone pivot in the past season. And you better bet that in the next season, Hansi Flick, someone who loves the 4-2-3-1 system, will go for the double pivot position again. And there's a high chance that we could see Bernal or Casado within those positions. Do I believe that they're going to be world class next season and get all the minutes next season? No, I don't think so. I don't think that we are there yet, but their names are going to start to appear much more. With Casado, for example, I strongly believe that he will receive around 500 to 750 minutes of first team football. Mark Bernal, he will for sure be a starter in the B team and occasionally get into the first team squad list. So it's going to be very exciting. And as for the next question, right? What could Hansi Flick expect from his youngsters coming from La Mesia? Because we know that they are technical players, great passers, but what is Hansi Flick going to be demanding? And especially when you want to break into the starting 11. And it says here that Hansi Flick wants more runners and players who are physically top level to compete for the Champions League next season. He does not believe in transition seasons. Neither does Juan Laporta. They want the team to compete for every trophy possible. This is Hansi Flick basically stating, I want players who are ready in terms of the mentality, the physicalness, the stamina, and everything all around. I cannot allow for any player, and especially from La Messia, to come in here and allow for them to go through trial and error. We need them ready. If Hansi Flick brings a player from La Messia and trusts that player from La Messia and brings them to the first team, he expects them to deliver a good top level. Hansi Flick will not allow for these youngsters for any time to grow their game in the first team. If they want to grow their game, they would have to do it in Barcelona Athletic. But if Hansi Flick calls you, that is because he believes that you're ready. There are going to be set standards. You need to be physical. You need to be strong. You need to be composed. You got to have high stamina. You need to press well. Making pretty passes with the ball is not going to take you so far under this new Barcelona with Hansi Flick. And I think that Marc Bernal and Marc Casado will do that. I strongly believe they will go into the first team, get called up, play a few minutes, and really deliver an intense performance. And so that is it. That is going to be wrapping up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.